Okay, so hey guys, it's uh, it's Speed Racer, Speed Racer 456 V Productions here, uh, coming to you with a Transformers video review. This one was slightly intended, seeing as it wasn't one that I was expecting to review, but uh, but regardless, uh, so uh, so yeah. But here is the figure in question. It is a KO G1 Optimus Prime. Uh, now, for most of you, don't hang around the uh, the Transformers social blogs such as Sabertron.com and TFW2005.com. KO actually stands for knockoff. Um, so, like, yeah. Basically, what they are is, like, they're very, very high-quality replicas of Hasbro figures... But there's always part of the colour scheme missing for some unbeknownst reason. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so this is a KO G1 Optimus Prime. It is a very, very nice figure, even for a KO figure. Uh, I got this about three years ago from my local news agents. Uh, for an amazingly cheap one pound fifty, I have no idea what that is in both Australian or US dollars, so don't bother asking. Uh, the accessories it came with are as follows: a translucent gun, uh, which is the spitting image of the gun used by the original G1 Optimus in the 80s Transformers series, and I only happen to know this because I actually have a copy of the 1986 Transformers film. But, uh, but yeah, if you have seen the film, or any of the G1 TV show episodes with Optimus using this uh, this blaster, you will know that it has two handles instead of the one. Uh, because the plastic quality on this gun isn't that good, the main handle broke off, which kind of sucks, and I've actually been meaning to file away the rest of it. But, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice overall gun. Don't get me wrong. So, uh, so yeah. But back to the figure in question. Now, the first thing you will have noticed is that, one, he's a truck, and two, it doesn't have exhaust ports. Slight problem with that. It's because the, uh, the clips holding the exhaust ports onto the back of the cab weren't as strong as I was hoping, and I lost them in literally the first month or so of me owning this figure. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, so yeah, I apologise for the camera shaking just then. It's just I'm recording the video with my webcam, and I've got the laptop on my lap. As you do. Hence the name, Laptop. I'm not even going to go into too much detail. But, uh, but yeah, so to transform... Uh, the KO Optimus. You take all of the bottom half of the truck here, so the cab floor basically in the trailer bed, and you just pull that down and rotate it 180 degrees as so. Uh, this will then become his torso, upper leg, lower leg, and feet. And speaking of the feet, what you want to do then is you want to come down to the, uh, to the back bumper here, just fold the feet out, as so and as so. Then you want to come up here to these two side sections of the cab. And pull them out. Then these little blue sections here, you just want to ease out and they will become his fists. Pull out the shoulder, straighten the arm out. And in the words of MGO619, the first verse, the second verse, sorry, is the same as the first. So you fold the arm out from the elbow downward. You pop the fist out, you rotate the arm out from the shoulder, downward, and then you fold the arm down, as so. And what you want to do is you want to come up to the top of the cab, and flip the head up, and rotate that round 180 degrees. And there is KO Optimus in his robot mode. And I gotta say, even for a KO figure, I am absolutely shocked at how much detail there is on this G1 Optimus Prime. I mean, it's just, it is just a beautiful recreation of the figure. There is no denying it. Uh, one thing that I like about this figure though, and I also found kind of strange, is that the back of his head is full of orange light piping. 
but despite that it does actually work uh, surprisingly well so yeah that tends to happen so uh, let's see if I can get it to work there we go white piping it is awesome what's also really interesting though is the fact that um, is that the cab windows are also made out of the same orange as well as the joints on the shoulder or shoulders even I do apologize um, anyway so as for articulation the head is on a um, is on a pin joint as well as the neck the arms are on a ball joint that can swivel out and rotate a full 360 clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, the elbow has two joints it has a joints it has a joint that rotates outward or inward if you so choose and a regular upward elbow joint uh, it has waist articulation but that's primarily for transformation if I can just split the legs really quick uh, the legs from the uh, from the hip downward are on a ball joint so the legs can go all the way back and they can and they can go back to some degree but uh, but not a lot could see if the uh, well actually the uh, the front bumper hindering the leg uh, he also has knee articulation could see of a small socket joint and you can also pivot the feet but again that's for transformation purposes only and I cannot explain why I have only just noticed this again but for some unknown reason you can actually open his chest the hell like seriously what the living hell but uh but, like yeah so then you can come along take his gun fit it into his hand and like yeah He's ready to go kick some Decepticon ass G1 style. So yeah. And now for the reverse transformation. I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, going back on the instructions on how to do the reverse transformation. So yeah. Screw you all. I'm just kidding of course. I love you my subscribers and viewers. You're all completely awesome. And how you manage to put up with me baffles me. It honestly does. Put those in. There, rotate that. Pop that down. Hey, there we go. There we go. So, uh, so yeah. So, in the next Transformers review, we shall be having a look at a knockoff of G1 Jetfire, I believe. I don't know, all I can tell you is that it's a sort of white repaint of an F-15. So it could be a knockoff of G1 Jetfire, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah. So, like, yeah, there he is. Uh, knockoff Optimus Prime. Would I recommend picking him up? Uh, if you see it around anywhere, in good nick, including the exhaust pipes, and a gun that's still in one piece, then I would say yes, I highly recommend picking this figure up. It is absolutely fantastic, and okay, true, it's missing a few paint apps here and there, and this was actually an official Optimus Prime mold. But like, yeah, knock off G1 Optimus Prime. Thank you all for watching.